be discussing to you with the last unit which is in relation to RAR or it is in respect of RAR that is Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016. Friends, when this act was being brought into the idea of having bringing this act or when it was brought into the object behind was this of course I'll be discussing to you with the object also there was to regulate all those real estate which are carried in the country because of the reason that that the real estate has itself developed as a big industry yielding lots of income from out of it and this felt or necessitated for bringing an enactment in this regard and that's so how we see the real estate was that is real estate regulation and development act was being passed in on the 15th of march 2016 and it gave or it came into its effect on 1st may 2017 and to little bit speak upon with this hack this hack is something has an application both by central and the state government that is both the central and state government is required to notify by their hack of having enforcing this enactment unlike we see the same in case of the gst also we say say in the same manner it is the obligation on the part of the state to bring in for the RERA are making an application of RERA but it's both central and state both have to work on this and this is how we see the act was being brought into and if you look at the application of this act and like every first provision first section of every act speaks upon with this if you look at with this this act is applicable or applies to both the residential apartments or residential plots which you are going to construct with or also it includes any commercial real estate as a concern so especially or so when i say it includes both this sector both these areas which the person would be undertaking with and for this purpose my friends it's it made mandatory that is the hack provided saying that that there shall be an establishment of a regulatory authority who shall monitor in respect of all those real estate in each state and it is the duty of the state to bring in or to form such regulating authority in every state is concerned and that's how how we see today every state to subject to an exception i'm speaking with this every state shall have the real estate or regulating authority in order to govern control with the aspects of the business of real estate concern and this hat relates to the promoters who is in promotion of the the apartments or the flats or any projects which they are undertaking with that's how we say it relates to that of the promoters builders contractors or home buyers development authority or includes it i mean it also includes allotting residential resident welfare or residential welfare association or it includes the real estate agent brokers property dealers and also the primary cooperative societies who are dealing with housing facilities or with housing societies it it and also housing financial societies all have been brought under the ambit or under the umbrella of this real estate that is under the under the act of rera so that any person who undertakes any such kind of a act that is maybe in respect of having constructing or undertaking a project of housing schemes or developing the plots or bringing a residential plots if any such activities that has been conducted they are now bound to compulsorily register themselves has under the act is concerned they have to first register before they could go by having undertaking the works or the activities of this real estate concern and of course there is an exception to this and i come down 
discussing to the other parts of our area that is further discussing with the other areas i will be discussing to you with those part also so with this notion or with this object we see that the real estate was brought in and if you look just look at with the object of this why this act was been brought quickly if i am to speak with few objects as what and why this real estate was brought in see the main idea of having bringing this enactment is to provide a, 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 or to address a grievances that what the buyers had in respect of real estate is concerned that was the main object that was the main intention with which it was brought in it it felt that that the grievances of the members or the grievances of the buyers or the allottees should be approached or it should be addressed effectively it also aimed at having maintaining the transparency and also the accountability in respect of real estate so if you can do these two things what happened as a result in fact that is also an object that that it would boost the domestic buyers in respect of those real estate and apart of this my friends foreign investments can also be equally be expected our investment can be uh, uh, what we can say is you can uh, believe that or expect that that foreign investment could also be made and you can call for the foreign investment in this regard and a part of this even when it comes to the domestic issues are concerned it will also increase the confidences of those buyers who would be buying upon the property in the form of real estate and by bringing a regulating authority it it provided saying that or it gave out a way for an or it offered out a way for single window system for the clearance of the real estate projects are concerned so all this was the aim in which it was brought in that was the object in which it was brought in and if you to look with the salient features of this rera we can see that there are several features with which it was been brought in or it has several features in it let me go discuss because there could be a question like what define rera or, ex or explain the rera and state the salient features of rera they may ask you a question now when it comes to the salient features of rera we understand like this there are several features of it i'll be taking some of those few features that we can come across that is this act provided for an establishment and incorporation of the real estate authority in every state in every state of india for the purpose of monitoring and adjudicating upon the dispute in relation to that of any estate projects are concerned section 20 speaks on this area which says that it is a monitoring authority which shall monitor upon it 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 looks up with the monitoring hack and it looks up with the monitoring of all those real estate projects which is been carried within the part of india or in part that particular state and even if you look with section 43 and 44 of the hack this section provides for the speedy adjudication of the matters in respect of the dispute in relating to that of the rera is concerned so under section 43 and 44 we see that this act provides for an establishment of fast track disputes resolution mechanism which by establishing a appellate tribunal so appellate tribunal shall also have a power a part of the authority rera authority it shall be the appellate tribunal who can hear the appeals from that of the the dispute or from that of the orders that is been aggrieved by a person uh, by that of the orders of the authority that is any aggrieved person if he has been aggrieved by the orders of the authority he can prefer an appeal before the appellate tribunal so a fast track mechanism is also been provided with and if you look at a section 3 more of these two things we see registration has been made mandatory within that that territorial jurisdiction so that it wanted that this when the act was been brought in it wanted that there shall be no real estate which shall be carried out without a registration that was the intention which it had with so it says that that no person who is that is any person who is engaging in not no any person who is engaging in 
of having carrying a real estate activities is now compulsorily required to have a registration of its project with RERA subject to the exceptions that is we say that under that is if it is less than 500 square meters or where if the apartment is less than 8 in number then you can go with and when you file for a registration of this project in fact in fact the authority shall have a power to refuse your registration when it is not in accordance with the act or they may also cause an inquiry into this and after inquiry they can also proceed for cancelling of the registration of those registration which has already been granted to you with that right is also there with that of the authority and once when it has been registered that is your uh, project has been registered under the RERA or in terms of RERA under section 11 there is also a mandatory class which has been imposed again as such promoter or person who is engaged in that of the project should compulsorily or mandatorily upload it in their website and failing that is we say failing of which it shall deem to have been accepted or whatever that the persons have been done and they have been liable for that this is one re response which has been made when i say failing which it says that see whenever when the application is being made for the purpose of registration the authority is required of course when i come to the registration also i'll be a little bit speaking upon with this but as i'm speaking specifying here i just want to say this that is when you apply for an application under rera if that application shall be made or shall be allowed or accepted or it should be returned or it should be cancelled within 30 days of time if they don't do so then it is deemed to be have been accepted and the other part is also this as i was saying you that all those things whatever that you are carrying you have to that is once when the registration has been completed you have to come out with your own website where in that website you have to bring in all those details like the type of apartment the plots that is being booked list of the approvals that is being taken that is every quarterly you have to do with all these things it is your bounded duty and that has to be uploaded in the website you have to do it this is also a comp compulsion which has been posed by the RERA hat and it says that is under section 13 it says that if that is when you go for an call of booking of this apartments or lots whatever it is the promoter shall not accept more than 10 percent of the cost of the apartment or building or plot and that is along with the application fee you cannot accept more than that and it is also necessary that without entering into a written agreement between the parties that is such person to whom the sale is going to be made he cannot take complete complete money from that of the buyer so it is a duty that is when i make my application for purchasing the product i can go with only 10 percent and not more than that and when you commence us out with when you start when you start your business carrying out with you can give certain intervals or you can collect the same money from that of the in the form of an installment and even where you collect it from the in the form of an installment from that of the proposed buyers or allottees it could be that or it should be that that you have to deposit that's what the act also calls for you have to deposit 70 percent of the amount whatever the collection of money that you have been made in a separate account which we call it as escrow accounts which it is in the form of we don't call it as escrow account it is in the form of escrow account they have to maintain this and when you go for a withdrawal of this 70 percent of the amount it should be again on the stage wise which can be uh, withdrawn by the consent person that is by the promoter or any person who is under the authority or is an agent of the authority and only under the certification of the engineers or architects or chartered accountants as that is required under that's what section 4 class 2 class 1 subclass uh, d speaks upon with this it says that you have to take an approval from the consent authority that is among your authority itself that is whether it is an engineer of the consent area or whether it is a chartered accountant or architect whoever it is required you have to take a the consent of them and only subject to that you can withdraw the money of the remaining 70 percent so 
there is a cap or there is a restriction on the part of a person while withdrawing this amount and this withdrawal can only be made as i said under the certification that is these people has to certify the same and it is also necessary that my friends it is an obligation on the part of all promoter has provided under the act that he has to obtain an insurance in respect of the project what is undertaking with that is when i say insurance it could be insurance in respect of the title of the land building or it is in respect of the construction or every project which he is going to take with that's what section 16 calls here he has to take obtain an insurance in respect of the project which is undertaking with and says after having taken up the project by having registered under the rera promoter has no duty to transfer the same or assign the same to another person he cannot transfer it that is once when it has been registered in his name there shall not be any transfer unless where the that is the members or the azar or the other persons have agreed upon in writing to such transfer that is they should give a written consent that is by majority of the members not of three-fourth of the majority we can say three-fourth of the majority of the members should give their consent in respect of having transferring or consenting for the transfer of assigning of this project to be carried by any third person so only subject to this you cannot do and once when the consent has been given by the consent members that is holotes or it could be the buyer you, you should also obtain the approval from the rera this is one another feature which has been imposed under the act and if there is a default in carrying out any of this act the rera act also provides for you to compensate for the same that is the promoter or buyer is entitled to equal that is to compensate equally at the rate of what they have been entitled to along with the interest where a default has been committed with and at the same time we say, say the promoter shall also compensate for all those defective hat or defective rule for which they have been complied that is in terms in violation or contravention with that of this hat is concerned in this regard having brought to his knowledge that the buyer or any allotee or any other person who is agreed with can also file a complaint before the authority regarding with the act of the promoter his consent or where there is a failure to comply with this by the promoter even after the harder has been passed the provisions of the act provides saying that that is non-compliance of any of the orders so passed by the authority then such person who is carrying upon the project or who is initiating upon the project shall be imposed with the penalty of five percent of the estimated cost so in this regard my friends or in this background we shall see that the importance of this rera had been brought in that is in order to protect the buyers in order to protect the investors in order to protect of those persons who has given their land for the purpose of this project in order to protect all those buyers or allotes of whom they are willing i mean who are willing to have a plot or land or building from out of that project is concerned so to protect these persons and to have a transparency in respect of the the projects which they are undergoing with and to have an accountability for what they are doing we see that the rera was been brought in and if you just go at the backdrop of this as why the hack was been brought in in fact the credit rating agency was has to survey on this and this credit rating agency came out with certain findings of them and they said this in their in their report they made it saying that that is if you are bringing this act that is if you come out with this act that would bring a drastic change and that change would be a positive in nature especially in the area of real estate or real estate sector and this would definitely contribute in the economy of the country that's what the uh, credit rating agency spoke upon with this and a part of this the reason was this of having bringing this act was that they wanted to or we wanted to have an organized form of having carried a real estate because till the passing of this act 
that is in the area of real estate is concerned or the area of real estate was very unorganized it was underdeveloped say, underdeveloped it was in an unorganized sector so to make it to organize with this they wanted to bring this act in this regard and a part of this there were several complaints which was been made before the consumer forum with respect to the 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 acts of the project takers or the project who has been from the persons who have been initiated with the project that is the consumer they used to go for the consumer court for the protection of a claiming upon this right so at this backdrop we can understand that the development of rera has come in and if you just go quickly what are the advantages of this see as i was of course some of them have included in the object and salient features but uh, putting it as a separate part of this it says that see once when you get yourself registered under the rera this in fact the bringing of the hat and the registration of this uh, projects are concerned it increases your fdi foreign direct investment it provides for a customers management it also provides for a timely completion of the project or it also provides for a planning to have your project provides a, i can say project planning can be initiated by the reason of bringing this hat is concerned and moreoverly we see transparency can also be maintained in this regard and this would definitely bring in the reduction of litigation so with these intention with these notion my friends we shall see that this rera was been brought into effect that's how obviously rera has been brought and today we have a rera which is governing with all those of real estate projects are concerned so this is one part just as an introduction and salient features and objectives of rera is concerned now the next part comes is the registration of rera how registration takes place when registration has to be made what is the procedure for this friends when it comes to the registration of course section has i then said section 3 of the act provides for the registration of the rera and we have also understood this that one of the primary features of any such person who is under i, I who is going to undertake the project is compulsorily required to have a registration before he could go upon that is to venture into the project before he ventures into the project he has to apply for a registration and he has to obtain for a registration and for his that is for his project that's what the act calls for that is a registration under the rera of the project what is undertaking with that is the promoter in this regard has to make an application before the authority for having obtaining the registration and in absence of this registration what would be the consequences suppose if i don't want to go for a registration then what would be the consequence see one one side the act makes it compulsory to have a registration of your project where the project is not more than sorry where it is more than 500 square meters or where your project is with an housing scheme of not more than 8 apartments if your project is within this you need not have to go for it but once when it crosses this you are compulsorily required to have a registration in absence of this registration it says that that you are not permitted to make any advertisement you cannot involve yourself in any of the marketing of your project or take bookings from from that of the project which you are forwarding with nor sell or even offer for sale of your plot property or whatever it is or you cannot even invite a person for purchasing that property so in that sense it says that you cannot do this and who has to do this it is the promoter for the purpose of carrying out all this act he has to obtain a registration now who is this promoter of course i'll be dealing separately but just for information i'm giving you who can who is required to do all this who is required to have a registration i mean apply for a registration it could be a builder a developer the, all these persons we call him as a promoter again i repeat a builder a developer or development authority 
or it could be a society or a person who is holding the power of attorney on behalf of the older that is for the purpose of construction of a land or apartment any of this any of this person can be considered to be has a person who can make an application and for what he is making an application that is he is making an application for having carrying out the project that is real estate project now question comes is what is this real estate project or how is it being defined with if you just go with the definition of this real estate project the term real estate project means to say that that is if there is any development of a building or if you are involved in converting of the existing building or any part of the apartments then or if you are going to build any structures of that of the building then those are considered to be as a real estate project in a way i can say in a simple manner if i am to put with that is if you are development he is with respect to the construction of building or if it is with respect to the converting of existing building or any part of the apartments of that building or if you are constructing or if you are building out the building into the form of apartments or if you are bringing any structural changes with respect to that how the apartment or plots are concerned all this are said to be considered as a real estate project but mind this when i say with this it also includes it also includes all those easementary rights which you are going to give upon to that of your apartment or building and also any anything apparentance to that of the the things which is been structured to that of the plot is considered that is to the building or land is it also includes those things when we speak upon with the real estate project maybe you would be coming with the garden area or you could be coming out with the uh, the 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 walkathon lawn for the people that is walk for a people a, a area for the people playground for the people all this are been brought within the ambit of this same structure so all this are considered to be has a real estate project and there my friends we often we come across with the using the word term apartment and building see as soon as i say term apartment and building it covers both the the residential houses are concerned and also where you are undertaking the commercial project both these two things comes under the purview of this so any project or any real estate projects you are undertaking with or any construction of an apartment you are undertaking with such real estate project or such apartment what you are going to undertake with shall be compulsorily be registered by you if it is not been registered then we say that you are also liable for the penalty for what could be imposed against you for the purpose of non registration of your project is cancelled so you are mandatorily required to have a registration of your project or your construction of apartment in respect to which you are undertaking work however we see there is few exception that is when registration is not required by the person that is by the person that is by the promoter when he takes up this work the one circumstance as i then already told to you is that where the area of the land on which you are going to undertake the project as such if that is not exceeding more than 500 square meters or if the number of apartments what you are going to construct is not more than 8 apartments or if it is not exceeding 8 in number then you need not have to go for registration under rare this is one kind one exception or one Uh, uh, exemption where required registration is not necessary how huh? by then that is before the implementation or before bringing the act into effect if you have already obtained a certification of rera that is completion certificate of the project from the concerned authority there is already a completion of the project then you need not have to obtain an application or did not have to go for registration of rare or where the work is only involved with the renovation repairing and where this renovation and repairing is not involving itself in any marketing 
advertisement or selling or allotment of any apartment or building if it is not involving this it is just a repair and renovation of it then you need not have to go for the the registration under the rera act but except of this you have to compulsorily come up with the registration and how to registration as usually as a common prudential understanding that each one of us would be knowing that that is by making an application before the appropriate authority that is rera authority section 4 goes speaks on this that is you have to make an application requiring to have a registration of your rera that is every promoter or any other such person who is given in charge of this shall make an application for the registration of your project along with the prescribed fee for the registration of real estate project of course the stamp it is stamp stamp payable on it shall be paid depending upon the value of the project that what you are taking with on the basis of that the fee will be prescribed for you so you have to file an application along with having satisfying the fee on it then that fee shall be satisfied to you for the purpose of having getting into the project that is you can get obtain, obtain a registration but when you make this application with the prescribed fee it shall inter alia also be attached with certain documents it should be annexed with certain documents something like it is an authenticated copy of the approvals for the commencement certificate should that which is been provided or that which is been given by the competent authority should be annexed to that of your application the sanction plan layout plan specifications of any proposed real estate project or that is which has been referred to or given by the competent authority should be provided with and also my friends a declaration by the promoter i undercoat this this is more important a declaration by the promoter which is shall be supported by an affidavit of having stating to these information that the promoter holds a legal title legal and clear title over the land which is undertaking the development project i repeat i again repeat he has to give an a, a, a the promoter that is whoever who is in charge has he has to give it in writing supported by an affidavit a declaration to the effect that that this promoter holds the legal title over the property on which the land is going to be developed with and the details of all those encumbrances which is there on the land that is the time period within which the promoter is willing to or agreeing to undertake and complete the project this is more important the time period that is he has to give out all those encumbrances as there is no such mortgage or anything is there on that of the property a part of this he has to also give a time period or within which he is going to complete upon the project and in the meantime if after the registration if he has uh, taken up certain money more than that of 10% then undertaking from him that the same amount would be deposited in the bank account that is separate bank account escrow account we say in the form of escrow account in a scheduled bank to an extent of 70% of whatever that the amount he has received upon with so and he would be using as i then said he would be using only under the certification so with these restrictions he can go make an application and that application can be honored and he could be given with a registration of this project is concerned by the rera authority and what is the validation of this registration friends if you go with the validation of this registration to what extent this registration will be in force to what number of time or what what period it will be in force so if you go with the registration of this once when it is been registered we understand that that this from the day on which the registration is been provided from that day the project is been approved by the appropriate authority so that allowing the person to proceed in the work of the project is concerned but to what period is it for life long or any number of days no or till the completion of the project whatever that is without any stipulation on that no it says this when the project is been registered in fact there the promoter is required to declare that within what number of days that the real estate project is going to be completed 
and this has to be submitted by way of an affidavit in the application as i was saying to you with just now and even the authority while granting a registration this authority shall grant this registration for that particular period of what the promoter have undertaken for having completing of this project suppose say if i take a project suppose say a construction of 200 flats in a particular area then i shall be taking saying that within 4 years of time or within 5 years of time i would be complete so the time duration what i have accepted to for the completion of this project is concerned within that time i should be position to complete with and the registration stands to be for that period of time which it has been carried with so it is not that that it is it is perpetual in nature the registration stands to be in perpetual nature that is any number of days it is not that only to the time has specified by the promoter in his affidavit agreeing upon to complete the project within such period of time or to such period of time we shall say that the project or the registration of that project would be in force however we see that the registering authority shall have a power of extending this registration period for a further period of time that is they can extend this period on the application made by the promoter like when they can extend two situations one is and on the basis on the reason of force majeure or it could be other than that of the force majeure is cancelled when i say force majeure it is something my friends because when i say something that is act of god we can say force majeure is act of god where because of war it is not only an act but also some some uh, extraneous force has caused in to have and one among that could be also an act of god that is because of war flood drought fire cyclone earthquake or any other calamities that has been caused any other calamities which has caused a delay affecting the development activities then that could be one ground wherein the application can be made and on the basis of this application you can see that the extension can be given say for example this is a pandemic time and during this pandemic time there was a force the states have come out saying that there is a lockdown and seal down of particular areas there is a lockdown of particular areas suppose say if the lockdown has been there for three months or four months then definitely you should be given an extension of those four months of time so on the application if you make the extension can be given to it this is what we call it as force majeure but on the other hand other than the force majeure if you come here with for any other reason for any other reason if the promoter if is they are not able to complete out this project within the time of what they have accepted with they can even seek for extend extension of this registration and in such case in such case mind this the promoter can when he makes an application then the extension of this registration cannot be made for a period of more than one year only when if such circumstances is been made out where the authority is been satisfied on the reasons so specified by the promoter if they have been satisfied on this and if they find reasonable to that effect they, they can extend the time of which the registration has been granted to them so as agreed by the promoter themselves so except of these two circumstances you cannot have a right to go for an extension of registration so it is not particularly when i say registration the registration is not particularly to the period of what it has been said the the registration may not say that that is every registration from the day of which the registration certificate is, is issued to them within two months or within two years of time they would be given to that is not the condition here the promoter themselves would say what is the time duration that has been it depends on each cases also like each cases it may depend with so on the basis of that the validity of registration shall stands to be there and when it comes to the revocation of registration we shall say this that is once when as a revocation of registration is said that is when you make your application for the registration of 
visiting authority the rena authority on various reasons or for the non compliances of certain things or when has to be complied with if the same is not been complied with then they can go for a non registration or they may go for not accepting your application for the purpose of your registration or if the registration is already been granted to you that's how we see it that is revocation of registration comes that is after having granted your registration if the authority comes to know either on the complaint or even sometimes sumoto if they comes to know that that this promoters are not carrying the work in accordance with the compliances of rera act or if such conditions what has been imposed by the authority is not been complied upon with then they can go for revocation of such registration that is on the complaint received or on that of the any notice that has been brought to that of the authority then they can exercise sumoto powers on this and when exercising this cancellation that is when they go for cancellation of this uh, certificate i mean this registration then they shall cause a notice to the person and within 30 days of time in writing they can go for cancellation stating the grounds on which they are going to cancel your registration they that is they have to give notice and within 30 days of time they have to clear out all these things in writing stating the grounds on which they are going to cancel with or they have uh, that is they have proposed for revocation but in spite of this also one another remedy they can also exhaust here is that they can instruct upon the promoter asking the promoter as to show cause a notice in the way of show cause notice asking that why the registration shall not be revoked to them in this circumstances when the promoter is given with a notice of this as to show cause notice as why the registration is not to be made or they may also say that as an alternative the cancellation of registration shall be forwarded if you are not replying to this in such a way they can go with and when the show cause notice is been prepared then this show cause notice shall contain certain grounds my friends that is they have to clearly specify the default of what is been done by the promoter in respect of the rera act or under the rera act or the what is the promoter that is if the promoter has violated any of the condition that is on which the approval is granted then what is the violation that it has been committed or where the promoter involved in, in where the promoter is involved in any kind of unfair trade practices or irregularities has been committed or misrepresentation or false representation has been made by them or if the compliances what has been made by by them in respect of their advertisement is not properly carried or the prospectus what has been issued by them contains a false statement or the intention of what the promoter is not in terms of what the work has been carried out with in such cases they should state the ground on which the false representation misrepresentation that is false advertisement they have to state the content of those areas and have to give a show cause notice and if the promoters if they have indulged in any of the fraudulent activities state the act of what fraudulent that they have been committed and on the basis of that they have to cause a show cause notice to the person for having carrying out any such work so in this way they can call a a, a report on the basis of show cause notice to the promoters who are carrying out with this work is concerned so this is how how we see the revocation of registration can be made after having hearing all these things and what would be the consequences of this non registration see till now i was speaking to you with the registration how registration shall be made what is the validity of this registration when revocation of registration can be made all this i was speaking what is the consequences of this registration that is non registration suppose say i am i am required to register if i don't register in fact in fact there are it, it it calls for or it attracts for the penalty 
and the hack amounts to an offence and attracts for the penalty. Let me very go briefly here because when I come there in offences and penalties, I'll be speaking again. Very briefly, let me speak to you with, see, any person who continues to have a, a, a project, continues to go with the project without having a registration under, his, under section 59 we see as stipulated we see that there shall be a penalty imposed to the extent of 10 percent 10 percent of the estimated project for the purpose of non-registration they can be imposed with a penalty of 10 percent of the estimated project and they can cause a notice for the purpose of registration and in spite of that, if there is a continuation of the default or if there is continued default by the person, then again additional 10% can be imposed against them for the continuous default or continuation of the default of what the notice is being made. A part of this or in addition to this, the person can also be imprisoned. Such persons who are in charge, I am speaking, persons can be imprisoned for the term of three years half time that is including fine or any one of this or both. So this is with respect to the consequences. And it is not only that, even the aggrieved party can come before uh, the authority making a complaint against the authority. That is under section 31, if any such person aggrieved by the act of this promoters can make a, or file a complaint with the authority with respect to the violation of what the promoters have done and here in such cases, the authorities are entrusted with a very wide power, look into the respect of the works or the hack that is being committed and in such cases, for any non-compliance carried by the promoter, for such non-compliance act, they can be levied with the penalty and also be imposed with all those remedical measures which could be taken in this. They can order for remedical measures in respect of the same. That is, the authority shall have a power of this cancellation imposing the penalty or can also levy fine against them or can also pass any remedial measures which could be taken by them and even in spite of this apart or i can say apart of this not in spite of this apart of this we can also say that that this authority shall have a power of having passing an interim order or even they can go ordering for refund of the consideration what the buyer has paid along with all those interest which the person is entitled to and they can also make an order for the change in developers depending on that of the case basis that is depends upon on all these things so in this way my friends we shall see that that registration has made compulsory you are bound to go with the registration subject to these restrictions so this is a how we see registration shall be made validity of registration and the consequences of the non-registration also and this is one sector the second part on the other side if you look in even when you go for a financial assistance to be obtained well there again they call for you for the registration because See, every project that which you are going to undertake with, I may not come out with the project out of my own fund. It is generally understood. I may not come out with my own fund. I would come in such a way that I would take certain finances from the financial institution or I may avail certain loan from the banks for the purpose of this project is cancelled. Or not only the promoters has such, even the buyer for that matter may come up with certain projects when he is going to take certain apartments or plots or anything he may offer for a loan or he may go for offer of a loan to be obtained from a financial institution or the banks in that event two registration is necessary see it says that that is every financial institution or every bank when it goes decide to provide a assistance of loan or provide a money for the buyers to purchase the the property or to have one of the pieces of interest in the real estate project then they can go for a registration and says that what if, if the registration is not being made see or if there is a cancellation of registration <coughs> see when would the bank go is 
the bank could call upon you for the purpose of registration and unless the registration is obtained the banks would not go you the loan for which the project is undertaken with i can say you in this way if the registration is cancelled on the application made by you then it is always understood that or i can say it is a conscious call on the part of the bank that this registration or cancellation of registration shows that the project is not complying with the, the terms of law what is been provided or it is deviating itself with any of the laws are concerned so in such situation the banks who is lending without having a looking look to this may result out into a loss or there may not be uh, that is uh, the banks may go off uh, what is that uh, uh, into a loss because of the insolvency if a person has claimed in respect of this regard and moreover in a one word to say moreover than all these things in a one word i can say the banks who are lending without having a registration certificate would involve very high risk factor and also uncertainty in regarding with the completion of that project so it is that is the reason why it is always the actions of all those financial authorities or banking authorities seeking that that to show the project has been registered under rera so that that act of this promoters which is not which would not be a detrimental in the interest of the bank or financial institution so in such regard my friends all these banks and financial institutions when they are lending loan to the project or when they are lending certain money to that of the home that is buyers home buyers it seeks for the registration and before they could go advertise for the same it calls for that or before having granting the loan approving the loan of what they have been made they have to compulsorily give the registration or they insist i don't say compulsory bank always insist upon for the registration of this project so that is one another reason my friends we shall see that has why the registration has become so compulsory so necessary and the act itself says is that it is mandated on the part of a person to go in for registration before you could go with the project is concerned